Water levels continue to be a concern for people along Lake Michigan, but a lackluster winter has helped a little bit after a record-breaking 2020. Yeah, that's a little bit of good news. Experts say that we still need to keep a close eye, though. Eric Estriva is in our newsroom with the forecast for the spring and summer. Eric? Doug, Annie, the below normal winter precipitation helped to lower the stress levels a bit here, not only in the weather center, but for those that live along Lake Michigan. This combined with the typical seasonal low for water levels on Lake Michigan has brought those levels down about a foot compared to last year. Now, last March, we had a record high level of 581.43 feet, and now we are sitting at 580.69 feet. So that's about a 0.74 feet difference. And while it's a step in the right direction, we are still more than two feet above March's average level. As we head into the month of April, lake levels will begin to rise again as we get into the heavier spring rains and snow to our north continues to melt and pour into the lakes. Today, I sat down with Deanna Apps, a physical scientist scientists with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers out in Detroit to discuss the forecast and what we need to see to continue our positive trend down towards average. So as we go forward in, in time, you know, if these drier conditions persist, you know, we'll hopefully we'll see, so, you know, not as high of peaks um, as we did last year. Um, but, you know, a lot of that is, is still, you know, still determine what mother nature brings us over these next six months. With the Great Lakes system being as, as large as it is, it really takes several months to years of persistent wet or dry conditions to get these water levels to move, you know, significantly in one direction or the other. And the current table on your screen right now shows that we have been keeping below 2020's levels for the last three months. And even with the peak coming here in the next few months, we are expected to continue to stay below 2020.